Here's five things that you shouldn't do in Dota 2. These things are going to make your games better. These things are going to make your win rate better. And these things are going to make everything better for your allies and yourself. So let's talk about it. If you enjoy the video, please do leave a like. Also, this is a brand new channel and I am posting very consistently. So please do subscribe as every new subscription helps out a absolute ton. And of course, we can watch this graph move together. Anyway, let's get started. First up is something that I see a lot of carries or core players doing. And that is, if you have a support with you because you're the your position one and you are harassing the enemy rather than taking last hits, you're doing something wrong. Now, there is a time and a place for harassing enemy and there's a time and a place for trying to get kills. But if you are the position one, your main focus in lane should be to get last hits. If you are missing last hits so that you can right click an enemy hero with your support, then you are kind of making a mistake. Your support is there harassing the enemy to get them away from you so that you can take last hits. If you are missing those, then your support may as well be farming instead. It's very often that as a support, I will be harassing the enemy and my core will come over with me and start hitting on the enemy too, just to push the enemy out of lane and that's great but if you miss all the gold to be able to do it then it's not so worth it anymore the reason certain heroes are picked for supports is because they are strong early game let them deal with the harass let them push someone out of lane and if you see a kill opportunity then join in to help them out if you aren't sure that you're going to get a kill then don't miss cs for it if your support asks you to come and do something they say hey i'm going to stun this person we can get a kill then join in and get the kill unless they do that that communication is there or you can see that you can definitely secure a kill there then just stick to farming that is what your support wants you to do no support wants to spend 15 minutes helping you get farm and then check that you've actually not even finished making your power treads at like 12 to 15 minutes when you've not done anything else so make sure you focus on the farm and don't get too carried away with harassing i understand you're probably thinking i'm trying to help my support out here they are trying to help you out get your gold that's the main focus Next up is one that I know you do, and I do, and everybody does it, and it's the thing that you get carried away with, but you should try your best not to, and that is going to be, don't just talk negatively to your allies, or, or put them down, or ping them in any way, everybody does this, Every, not often, I can, I can certainly say that I normally don't do this, but sometimes... Someone just does something and you look at them and you're thinking you're a freaking bot. You have to be. I would rather have a bot. I would, I would, it's just, and, and you just have to think. This is not a good idea. Okay. Do not put your allies down. <laughs> no matter how bad they are, no matter how often they are dying whenever you pull the lane back for them to keep it safe because they haven't noticed that you're pulling a camp, even though that is your job as a support to keep the lane equilibrium good for them. And then they die and they've done this three times in a row now. And you've even told them that you're pulling and it's still happening. You just need to just to just, just sit back and just go, hey, look, it's all good. I'm going to pull the lane. Please stay back. Like, you will die again. I am telling you now, you will die again. Just communicate well. Do not put them down. The reason you don't put them down is, one, everybody has a bad game. Everybody has a bad game. And I I think my last game was a bad game. It happens. Like, you'll have a good game, a good game, a good game, and then a absolutely terrible game where you think, holy crap, I played worse than, like i've ever played in my life what the frick was i doing that game it just happens whether it's due to the enemy counts picking you or whether it's due to just not being focused maybe it's time to go to bed however being positive and actually encouraging the player that is playing badly does normally lead to them improving even just a little bit so when someone screws up and they go too far forward rather than saying i you piece of trash why did you do this for the fourth time i'm gonna report you just secretly report them just secretly report them. Don't say anything. Just just do it secretly so that you feel better. But then also just say, hey, dude, don't worry about it. And it happens. And then, <laughs> and then next time, just don't do that. It's fine. We got this. You're going to get your farm. Everything's going to be good. Trust me, they will improve so much better because they don't feel that stress from you. They don't feel the pressure. And they're going to focus more. If you stress at them, they're not going to be focused. Uh, and you don't have to secretly report them, by the way. But if, you, if it's going to make you feel better, like you've done something at least, then hey, <laughs> it is what it is. But yeah, don't flame your allies. It, all it does is lead to bad things. Next up is one I mentioned in a recent video, and I will link it in the description if you want to see the full thing. We're going to cover this very quickly. If you see your support, put a ward on a high ground cliff, and they sentry it as well, and you can see the enemy have a sentry ward there, and they leave that sentry ward, don't kill it. If you're a core, if you're another support, if you're another, if you're a mid laner, whatever, it doesn't matter. If your support decides to leave a sentry on a cliff, there's a good reason for it. It's because sentries don't give vision, so leave that sentry ward there. Do not kill it. If they've chosen not to, then there's a reason for that. If you kill that ward, they know you've just warded there and they're going to come over and deward you. If you don't touch that ward, 
no one's going to walk past there and reward it because no one puts two sentries on a cliff. Just leave it there. It's a free ward spot unless the enemy has like a Night Stalker or something like that. I will link the full video in the description if you're a little bit confused on what I mean about this so you can check the full thing out. But yeah, if still, if support leaves a, leaves a sentry ward on a cliff, please leave it. They know what they're doing. They're not stupid. In fact, they're like next level smart. This next one is one I see quite a lot and it could actually win you a lot of games if you aren't doing this and you suddenly start doing it. And that is, don't be afraid to buy items that your team actually needs. Now what I mean by this is, if you're playing a mid laner and you're doing really well, everything's going good, and you see that the enemy has a juggernaut for example. This juggernaut is free farming, there's not much you can do about it early game, and let's say you're on a queen of pain. You don't have any stuns, you don't have any control or anything, you just have your slow, but juggernaut is just going to spin and just disappear, there's not much you can do, so instead you decide to go and gank every other lane and leave this juggernaut for 20 minutes, and then suddenly the game's over because he is fat as hell, and there's not much you can do about it right it's, you were like well i needed to i needed to build this item and then i needed to build this item and then everything was just it, it just sucked like i couldn't do anything don't be afraid to buy something like an orchid early game so you can go up there and you can gank that little piece of crap because an orchid is really good against juggernaut in the early game because if you silence him before he spins well then he's probably dead that's pretty much how it works the same goes for life stealer as well if you know they've got these these free bkbs then get something to deal with it early game and then that might fall off later getting an orchid but hey you've screwed his early game up he is 10 minutes behind where he would have been don't be afraid to buy these items that you need for example on an invoker i absolutely love being able to get an early blink dagger as soon as i finish with my travels but if i finish my boots of travel and then go right they have a juggernaut they have a phantom lancer they have a life stealer all of these people i can't really gank because they've got too much like way to get away I will build an orchid instead and I will kill and kill and kill that carry and I don't care if you have to build something different you go out of your way to make sure this applies this isn't just for mid laners though this is for off laners too if you want to build something like a halberd because the enemy has a troll warlord this can't be dispelled with a bkb anyway this is going to be incredibly useful in the late game too all of these items you don't have to stick to a very specific build build stuff that your team needs if you're a hero that can carry that item and it's going to help you out a lot then get on it get on it nice and early and use it to your advantage as soon as you can i'm telling you this wins games and it's definitely something you should pick up on this last one won't take too long to explain but if you've ever been a carry in a lane and your support comes along and they start harassing the enemy great this is absolutely awesome i love to see this this is good but they do it right next to your creep wave and what happens if you right click an enemy hero next to the creeps well it pulls the aggro of all of the freaking creeps what does that do well surprise surprise that pushes your lane the reason this pushes your lane is because the enemy creeps are hitting on your support and then your creeps are getting free damage onto the enemy creeps while they're not paying attention they're not hitting them back so all that's going to happen is your lane's going to push now it doesn't only do this it actually makes you miss last hits as well because you're about to last hit something your support right clicks the enemy and the creep runs away from you and hits someone else and you're a melee hero and it's just ran out of your freaking range and you're like oh for god's sake it's gone i've missed it this is a frustrating thing to supports please if you are going to harass someone in lane either harass them from the side harass them in a place that's not a pain in the ass or if you have a ranged carry it's not the end of the world because they're not going to miss last hits but you still need to think about the creep equilibrium as well for your carry to keep them safe that being said there is something you can do you can attack from outside of the creep aggro range when you issue the order and that will not aggro the creeps but you'll only be able to get one attack off in most situations i think there's like a three second cooldown on that actual thing so if you cast the second one there's a good chance that the creeps are going to aggro on you so just walk out of the range a little bit issue the attack order shoot the attack step back and do the same again if you're a melee support then just go behind them and beat the crap out of them if you're actually in the position to harass them out of lane like that then just go behind them and beat the living shit out of them try your best not to disrupt the creep equilibrium obviously if it's worth it and you're going to fully get them out of lane from it then go for it but just weigh that up and see what's better and try not to make your carry's life harder than it already is and there's five things that you shouldn't do in dota 2 i have so many more things that we could talk about for this if you want to see a part two let me know in the comments also please do subscribe guys as like i said i'll be making a lot more content like this and other things as well along with some clips here and there when i do get them and just many other forms of content so please do subscribe as a brand new channel it will help out an absolute ton do leave a like too to help the video get promoted more and i'll catch you all in the next one see you later guys bye